So you're here because you wanna know if CBD helps with depression, in today's video we are gonna break down what CBD is and how it works with depression. First off, what is CBD? Cannabidiol CBD, is a type of natural compound known as a cannabinoid. Cannabinoids are found in the cannabis plant. Cannabis plants are sometimes called hemp or marijuana, depending on their level of tetrahydrocannabinol THC, another cannabinoid. THC is associated with a high CBD, however, does not cause psychoactive effects like marijuana does. CBD can be derived from the hemp or marijuana plant. CBD has seen a surge in popularity in recent years, as new research explores its potential health benefits. Some research suggests that CBD oil and other CBD products may be beneficial for symptoms of depression. How can it help? If you're looking into using CBD for therapeutic purposes, it's important to understand that the research around CBD is limited. There have been a lot of studies in the last decade, but most of them were done using animals. That means the possible benefits of CBD for depression in humans are mostly speculative right now. Still, CBD does appear to have some benefits for depression, especially for dealing with anxiety, cognitive impairment, discomfort before public speaking. THC and CBD may also be helpful for conditions potentially related to depression, such as chronic pain. What does the research say? Experts believe that CBD's potential benefits for depression are related to its positive effect on serotonin receptors in the brain. Low serotonin levels are likely connected to depression. CBD doesn't necessarily boost serotonin levels, but it may affect how your brain's chemical receptors respond to the serotonin that's already in your system. A 2014 animal study found that CBD's effect on these receptors in the brain produced both an antidepressant and anti-anxiety effects. A more recent 2018 review of existing studies concluded that CBD has anti-stress effects, which may reduce depression related to stress. As mentioned, this is an area that's still being actively studied, and new research and reviews are published every year. As researchers begin to better understand CBD and its potential benefits or concerns, information about how to most effectively use the product will continue to change. How do I use it? CBD is available in four formulations. Oral. This includes tinctures, capsules, sprays, and oils. These mixes can be taken as they are, or they may be used in other preparations, such as smoothies or a coffee. Edible. Drinks and foods, such as CBD-infused gummies, are now widely available. Vaping. Vaping with CBD oil is one way to quickly ingest the compounds. However, there's some debate over the long-term safety of this method. In addition, it can also cause coughing and throat irritation. Topical. CBD-infused beauty products, lotions, and creams are big business right now. These products incorporate CBD into things you apply directly to your skin. However, this formulation is likely best for pain, not mental health uses. Where do I buy CBD? If you want to try CBD, you'll need to find a reputable seller. Hemp-derived CBD is widely available in many areas. You may even find it in some health food stores. Marijuana-derived CBD is only sold in dispensaries in states where marijuana is legal for medicinal or recreational use. If you're interested in buying CBD, look for brands that are reputable and trustworthy. You can usually determine if a brand is reputable by checking if they conduct third-party lab testing of their products. We have made a list of some trusted CBD sellers below in the description if you're interested. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed it, please consider hitting subscribe and giving this video a like. Thanks.